So this interview is for the Tico Times. I think this is going to be the first time that they have an interview with somebody uh, from the government, from this government, in English. So thank you for, for your time. No, you're welcome. Um, you have a role which is a little bit different from what uh, we have seen in other countries. Michelle Obama, for instance, in the US. Um, and yeah, first ladies like uh, France, uh, uh, new president's uh, wife, whose uh, role is being uh, also a little bit different, but they all keep doing the same thing, just being aside or behind the president. You're not. Why is that? Well, I think that the first lady's role right now needs to be a mirror of how our dynamics in society is evolving. And the dynamic in our, in our society is evolving that women have more and more important roles in, in politics and in every sector um, because we have the capacity and because we want to. Um, so I think this is, a good, um, this is a good example of how our new generation in Costa Rica is dealing with, uh, with, the, with the gender roles. Um, and for us, it's completely natural. I think we have always seen each other as a team, and we are in this process together also as a team. And we respect each other, and I have a clear understanding that Carlos Alvarado is the president. And it's a new situation for me because, in a way, he is my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that's but an, it doesn't same... happen at home, right? <laughs> <laughs> he told me it doesn't happen at home. <laughs> at the Casa Presidencial only. <laughs> <laughs> but still here, um, having said that and understanding that we are a team and we, we understand where our strengths are and how we can complement each other. Um, you uh, have been qualified by the National Press in Costa Rica as the project manager of the government. What is that role? How do you describe that role? Well, a project manager is a person that has an understanding in process and how the process for a certain task needs to be done and how to keep track of that process and help unleash uh, problems that could, that could have the process itself. Um, that is something that I'm, that I'm kind of used to do because that was kind of my role in the private sector. And that is something that I that I'm happy to do that I think that I could help with and that's why so maybe in in a certain interview I said that I w I used to work as a project manager <laughs> so that's why they say that but uh, but it's it's kind of different but in in essence that's the that's basically the role and we hope that and we know and we wish that you will have a great success in that role Final message for those women out there who are hesitating to get these kind of roles, not only as a private, uh, in the private sector, but also in the public sector. Um, how do you encourage them to do that? I think we, the first step is that we need to believe in ourselves, in our capacity. And once we know that, and once, once we understand what our abilities are and our talents are, we can potentiate them. So the first thing is believe in yourself, believe that you can do it, and go for it. Lean in. <laughs> go for it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.